Hi, and welcome to another series of C++ tutorials, yay! This tutorial focuses on classes. Classes are cool, they're very cool, as says C. Clark. So, well, I don't really know how to do this tutorial. Let's make a class. Class. Oh, first, you, you always read the keyword class. Uh, it's like, um, I don't know. Well, if you're declaring a function, you don't write the keyword function. But anyway, so you write class. Um, I'm going to have a class named dog. Or I can have a class named book. A class is basically an object. So, your a painting on the wall could be a class, a chessboard could be a class with a couple of subclasses which are the pieces, a mirror could be a class, anything that you can feel, touch, see, mm, anything like that is a class. Basically a class is an object. It's different from a union or a struct which is a structure. I'll cover those a bit. Well, I think you should start with classes though, personally. So, this lesson is on user-defined data types, but we'll start with classes because I l they're fun. So, I declared a class book. And now, oh, sorry. Down here, I start my class. So, anything inside this bracket is my in my class and first I write the keyword private what does private mean? Uh, it just means no nothing can see what I write after private except for uh, the function the, the class itself so I can usually uh, variables are declared private and Bjorn in his true strip says that you should declare everything private and only have access or functions. Well, I don't quite agree, but uh, anyways. So let's um, well we said private. Let's make uh, int year. So published. This is going to be uh, our year published, and yeah, that's going to be our year published. Let's. What else does the book have? It has title, so let's make a char character pointer to title. Let's make a character pointer author, and uh, that's it. So we have the published, the title, and the author. And now let's make public. So this is what every everything can everyone can see. So we'll we'll jump ahead and we'll get straight to the constructor. So the constructor for a class <coughs> is basically something that builds the class, creates an instance of it. So it you can't operate with a mirror unless you have a mirror the construction cr constructor creates that mirror for you in this case it's going to create our book for us so my constructor is just going to be called book so now um, I have the, my constructor I have I need to specify what uh, parameters it takes so I'm going to have an integer year published I'm gonna have a car character pointer title and a character pointer author. And now I'm gonna have my opening braces. So this is my function. Uh, one second. My bad there, I had to take a phone call. Uh, so I'm back and um, so we declared our uh, constructor, right? And uh, so let's put our opening brace here just for easier access. And inside this constructor, we're gonna 
do what? We're gonna set a book. This is the scope resolution operator, so it says whatever comes after it belongs to the class book. So book year published because you remember this is our um, so this refers to the, us to this variable equals a year published that doesn't make much sense right because book year published equals year published but actually the second year published is the one declared inside the function so this one and uh, the sco scope resolution t uh, operator tells us to put uh, to put the value of this into this so and then we'll do the same thing with uh, book author equals author so this is going to be our constructor the only thing a constructor actually does is it defines uh, values well like it can do other things too but it basically defines values for these um, those uh, variables so let's make a deconstructor while we're at it a deconstructor is just written like this squiggly line book with uh, it doesn't you don't have to put anything in there but uh, yeah it's just better to have it so that you have it. So uh, we have a construction. We have a deconstructor. Now we uh, we put the methods of the class. So let's put a couple of functions. Let's put a void set data. So this is gonna uh, set data again. I'll copy and paste this these. So. I'll basically copy and paste what uh, the book does or actually let, let's uh, stay away from set data and uh, of course we can overload book let's do that I'll overload uh, the constructor so I'll have two constructors and this one you'll ask how is this constructor different than the other one in this one I don't specify any values so I'm kind of this is like a lesson on overloading um, so I'm gonna specify book or just year published zero uh, title equals zero author equals zero Oops. So now we overloaded the operator so we can call a new book by either typing book and the parameters or just book. Right? So, um, see I'm running close to the 10 minute limit. So I'll continue this lesson in the next part. And here's the code that so far. Um, yeah, and I'll continue this lesson in the next one. Thank you.